President Donald Ramachandran is optimistic that parliamentarians from the Alliance for Change, People's Progressive Party, and the Partnership for National Unity will be able to work together to take the country forward. This stress will be integral if Ghana's economy is to continue to grow. The President, while addressing the ceremonial opening of the 10th Parliament, noted that it will be challenging in the coming years. However, he made it clear that he will not accept deadlocks. Yes, we have our differences. This is perfectly natural. We will continue to have varying views on many issues. The important thing is how we move forward in resolving our positions. To move forward will call for maturity. If we are to avoid gridlock and inertia, political cooperation in the interest of the development of Guyana must exist. This is the reality that we face. Meanwhile, leader of the APNU David Granger and leader of the AFC Kamraj Ramjitan both lauded the president for taking time off to address the parliament. They also shared a view that this should be done more often. And we would like to see our head of state and head of government making more use of Article 6 and 7 of our Constitution. Don't wait to be asked. Invite yourself. The Constitution allows you to do so. This Parliament cannot exist without the President. Our Constitution describes the Parliament as the President and the National Assembly together. Without you, we are just a National Assembly. So do come. We must appreciate that November 28, 2011 brought a new dispensation. The people won, and the people are sovereign. And as representatives of the people, we must make sure that they bear the fruits of that winning.